I did some cleanup in the SharePoint. It was terribly slow. So I remove a couple of sites. Just give me a sec. Let me remove everything which is unwanted. We do not need that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. One more. So I also remove search application. But it's make share point go terribly slow. And one last side, and then we are good to go. Looks better. Looks better. All right, thank you. So what we are going to do today, A card management. Compliance management. Template. And of course, the content management. So these are the four big topics. Now let's first understand a scenario where we are going to implement this record management, compliance management, template, and content management in SharePoint 2016. I have a customer. What this customer thinks? In my SharePoint, I have document library. I also have a list. I also have a document format type. So they have a three important thing. Number one, document management system. Or you can say in a very short word, a document library. They also have a predefined list. And they have a predefined document format. So for an example, if I want to create an invoice, what would be the format of the invoice? If I want to create a lab manual, what should be the format of the lab manual? So these all things which they already have as an organization. Now what they are looking for in SharePoint, they want to make all this a specific format list design and the document library format to implement. So for an example, they have a pretty clear that every document which upload in document management system should have a document ID and a document a status. Documented a status in the means whether the document is new document, in progress document, means document is still someone working on,
and they also have a documented status which say complete and then they also have a documented status which say archive archive means document which no longer active or used by the user so first they want to implement this structure no matter who create the document library so throughout my site throughout my sharepoint if anyone work on this document library these two specific columns must be there document id document status last time we seen that document id is available to us as a service but there is nothing called document status it means that we have to create this specific column within my sharepoint second requirement what they have they have a pre defined task list for an example they have a pre defined task list which called plan where everyone will have to do a planning before do anything then they have something which is called implement and then they have a list called monitor so whatever in this organization anyone do any project this specific list they have to follow so they want to make this list available as an app or available as an template for everyone to use that and then they say that anyone who upload a document in document management system so for an example if anyone upload or anyone want to create a document like word document excel document and especially the format for an example i can say that this is my ibm invoice dot doc in this invoice dot doc i already designed all my format where i should put a logo where should i put a declaration that this document is a private document table of contents heading subheading all this is predefined then i have another one which might be an ibm excel document this might be related to project plan if anyone want to create a project plan this is specific excel document for them then anyone who wants to create a powerpoint within organization they have to use a specific template they cannot use any powerpoint format or a deck so i have something which called ibm deck dot ptx now i want to implement and enforce that anyone within my organization if they have to create invoice or project plan or any powerpoint template something like that it is always a standard is already created a standard template is already there for a document and everyone will have to follow that template guideline so it means that document must this format must be available for user within sharepoint so that they can use the same template and create their own document on top of that what they exactly require whatever document and content or a list anyone upload in this specific sharepoint that should not contains the word for an example passport number if there is any word like a passport document must be a stand 
if there is any word like a social security number document must be scanned so it means that what they are exactly required that everyone will have to maintain a compliance within the organization when they are uploading a document there should not be a data which might be personal in nature so this all data exactly related to a personal identification no matter are you going to upload in a document library or in a list or in a within a predefined template these words should be avoided so i want to check anything and everything which is uploaded in this sharepoint they must follow the guideline where we have a mandatory requirement that it should not contains the information which is personal in a nature like passport social security number mobile number and so on so on so on then i also want to implement that whatever whatever we have in this document library which is currently my active document library the moment any document which marked as an archive means as a user i confirm that i no longer use this specific document and i mark it as an archive any document which is archive that should be moved to another document library which is created to store the archive data and then on is archive document library we want to implement a deletion policy because the document which i archived may require in a next one year two year three year four year time but not beyond that so what i exactly need that i need to implement a deletion policy what the deletion policy is going to give that every document which is stored in this archive document library that should automatically get deleted after 2 years so that it should not occupy an space in my archive folder and then after 2 years this document will automatically delete before deleting it inform the user inform the compliance team that this specific document has completed 2 years life cycle so i am going to send this document to sharepoint recycle bin in a sharepoint recycle bin maybe this specific document a stay for another 30 days so in the meantime if anyone wants to retrieve this document they can go ahead and retrieve otherwise it will permanently removed from the sharepoint list and last i want to implement something which is called legal hold legal hold where i am going to define that any document which a store in this specific document library is and contains an a specific word like a passport and social security number will be hold till the time this specific document get review hold means it cannot be access and publish
and once this whole things has been implemented in sharepoint what customer want that this everything is save as a template the whole part complete site collection including document library list document format all this part will be saved as a template and this template i want to use to create any new site so any new site within my organization if anyone wants to create they have to use this template not the default template like whatever we get when we try to deploy or when we try to create a sharepoint so what all things number 1 we have to implement a document library with a specific content a specific values a specific columns second we have to implement predefined list this list should be available for a user to use whenever they want to perform any kind of a task or something and then we have to implement a document format where the user will have to use a specific document format within sharepoint if i want to create invoice format is already available just pick it up put your contents put your data but data should not contain any information like a personal identification which include passport social security number so on so on so on if any document of such is uploaded within a sharepoint it will be hold compliance table check until and unless the compliance check is not complete and document is not legitimated document is not cannot be used cannot be published cannot be accessed and then whatever we have implemented everything need to be save as a template for the future use so anyone who wants to create their own template they have to use this specific template whatever we have created so far so it means that the moment i pick up this template automatically we will get a document library along with this document id and status list along with plan implement and monitor and then i have a pre defined document format clear manak you yep that's that's good so now my server is i believe is fast now otherwise it was terribly slow let me check your service yes so the search service also gone and i also change the job which is running by a minute for my document id yes so it by had been changed from 2 minute to daily now so it is not going to disturb too much to us all right all go so let's create a site collection remember this site collection going to be work as a template for other user to view so here you go let me to remove everything to remove the dot and then all right you are in control monik you first we are going to create a site collection where we are going to enforce all this part give it a name for an example org site the site which is meant for an organization
just give it a org i think this will work that's fine yes we are doing all right perfect now it's all done just click that one perfect so let me copy this url and i am going to uh, on my laptop so that you should have a faster access all right all perfect now so first we have a document library which is called document let's create one more document library and this document library we give it a name archive because customer need us one archive document library one main document library so go to the add list libraries and other apps which is a third blue icon add list library perfect now we are going to select document library and we are going to say archive it's good perfect so we have two document library one the original one where user is going to update the data second archive one where all the data which is marked as an archive by user will move so that we should have we should not have anything in a active document it should be lightweight all right go back to site setting click home go back to site setting now we are going to use web designer galleries in a web designer galleries we are going to define columns which will be used by my all sites or a document library so it whatever we define in this specific designer galleries of a site it is available for all sub site it is available for all document libraries or whatever you want right so let's create site columns so click site columns all right so there are basically various site columns already available with sharepoint if you scroll down you will see that it is perfectly categorized as for example base columns content feedback like number of likes number of ratings core contact information for example if i want to have an address field in a form anniversary phone car phone and so on so on so on these all are already available for every document library to access this specific column 
we are going to create our own which we call it as a document status so I scroll it up and we are going to create our own custom site column so let it create give it a name document status we are going with because we have a four choices new in progress complete and archive we are going with choice menu third one which is a choice menu it's perfect pretty good let's call it down little yeah that's fine now for this existing columns which we just create we have a choice are we going to put this into existing group drop down you will see multiple groups which is already available within within my sites so i have a choice does we are going to make it as a custom columns or should i put it into something else by default i think that custom columns looks good because this group is already provided by sharepoint to use if we want to use anything which is a custom so just leave it the custom group custom columns looks fine for me now I scroll down just one more line scroll it down all right now here we have a choices to make so just remove all these three choices and we are going to define our four choices first is a new does the document is a new hit enter second the document is in progress third complete and fourth archive below it is going to give us an option are we looking for drop down radio button or a check box i am perfectly fine with the drop down menu now below you have an option that what is the default choice when the document first time uploaded what a status it should display i say that go with new so last column just remove that one and say new all okay hit okay now Uh, can you scroll down and check in custom columns you must have so this is core component for task yes in a custom columns i am able to it's not there yeah there document status right so it means that in a custom columns this document status which we have created is available for us so just let me make it a little bit more better All right. Oh, no, I say that this all looks good. Now, this a specific, this a specific setting which we have made. It need to be available. This site columns need to be available 